All right, so I need to throw my two cents into this because it's not just typical YouTube drama. It's also a clash of right and wrong, and that's my focus. So, let's do it. Netflix is able to, or they might actually, sue Mr. Beast for his Squid Game video. If you don't know, and I'd be surprised if you didn't, Mr. Beast, if you don't know who he is, first of all, <laughs> is basically one of the kindest people potentially in the world, but definitely on YouTube, aside from me, of course. And um, he uses literally all of his money to create his videos. A lot of people think that he's just that he's just like rich, rich, rich. But actually, outside of the videos, he's not as rich as people think. Because he literally uses all of his money to make the videos. And then when the video is done, he has nothing left. He gets all the money back through views, sponsors, ads, all that stuff. And then, boom, goes and makes his next video. His goal is literally just to help people. He makes like challenge videos and competitions and stuff where he gives people literally money, like $1,000, $10,000, $100,000, crazy amounts of money. And the people that he brings on his um, channel for these like challenges and stuff are his like YouTube subscribers. And um, basically he's just amazing. And because he's amazing, to the surprise of nobody with a brain, he gets attacked a lot and is called disingenuous. Um, one example is when SJWs went nuts a couple years ago because 11 years ago, Mr. Beast made a fucking joke that they call transphobic. I have a video on my channel called Mr. Beast is not a transphobe. Check it out if you want to hear the story on that. But it's no surprise that cancel culture goes after a person just because they're a good person and digs up their past when they were like fucking 8, 17, 16 years old. That's just pathetic as you'd expect. Another stupid thing that he was getting criticized for by the idiots is people saying shit like, oh, he's only giving money away on camera to look good. I bet you he doesn't do this off camera, even though he actually does. He does all kinds of things that are literally not filmed. This was talked about on a podcast, I believe, with uh, Moist Critical. But he does all kinds of things, like organizations. He did the tree planting thing and... He's even doing the Save the Oceans thing now, and it's not just for YouTube views, you motherfuckers. I mean, it's amazing. Like, just because you are the kind of people who would only do that for views and money doesn't mean he is. And I swear, the people who are doing this are literally just jealous. They're jealous of his, of his success. They're jealous of his money. They're jealous of the fact that they haven't appeared on his channel to do these challenges and win a couple thousand dollars. Like... I swear all the people who hate him are people who have tried to get on his, like, show or whatever, like, you know, his warehouse, to do, to do these challenges, but haven't been chosen by him because he's got, like, 60 million subs. I think it's actually higher now. And they're, they're just jealous that other people got on, but they didn't. But regardless, the main thing here is he might be sued by Netflix for his Squid Game video. And we got to talk about how idiotic this lawsuit could potentially be because it doesn't even make sense. Being slammed for plagiarizing Squid Game. I guess people don't know what a tribute or inspiration is, but okay. Haters are slamming YouTube megastar Mr. Beast's viral recreation of Netflix's Squid Game drama series, claiming that he is profiting immensely from his cheap parody of the original. <laughs> right off the bat, we can see there is immense jealousy here because they're calling it a cheap parody. Meanwhile, it wasn't necessarily a parody. I would call it more inspiration and jumping on a trend to try to help people. And B, you're literally jealous because he got more views than the actual show did. He released his adaptation of the highly acclaimed Netflix survival drama series Squid Game, which includes a true-to-life recreation of each challenge from the show. You must not have seen the video because the final challenge was musical chairs. So, by the way, let me just say for that alone, I'm pretty sure the reason why he didn't do the actual Squid Game was because it involves literally beating each other up and the rules are also very complicated. But it also shows that you may not have a copyright law here because the main game that the show was literally titled off of didn't appear in his video. Just saying. After teasing the project for several weeks, it was only natural that the video would, would later amass 100 million views on YouTube. I think now it's like 150 million in like less than a week. It's crazy. Earlier this month, Mr. Beast revealed that the project cost about 
$3.5 million, which led many haters to attempt to cancel him online. Cancel him because he worked hard at an amazing video? Like, I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not surprised, okay? <laughs> I am not at all foreign to the idea of people trying to cancel you just for being good. My whole life is based on that. But, I mean, this is pathetic. Mr. Beast is like one of the kindest people ever. He has helped people find like cars and, and homes and paying rent and just big things. He's changed people's lives. Like, how sad is your life that you have to go, hmm, you know what? YouTubers who are just douche tubers, they're fine. Mr. Beast, though, spends thousands of dollars, millions of dollars to literally help people. Fuck them. But that's modern day for you. And they're calling it a cheap knockoff. Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't know. Can you do better? What I find funny is that one of the complaints is that he didn't spend as much money as the actual show did. But what people are consistently failing to realize is why would he? Like the people who are saying, I can't believe it, he recreated the exact same thing in less money. He's just trying to brag about the fact that he spent less. He also did less, you stupid fuck. Like, let's let's think about this because it's it's amazing the amount of brain cells that have to lack for you to think that. Okay? His video, which was less than 30 minutes long, only incorporated the games. That's fucking it. Nothing else. Therefore, a lot of stuff was cut out because he didn't need things such as set pieces and script writers and all that kind of stuff. Squid Games on Netflix, in case you forgot, is not just game after game after game. There is characters, a script, dialogue, set pieces such as the games itself, the outside of their of the organization, literally on the streets of Korea where these people live, showing their home, showing their lives. Those set pieces costed money. The fact that his video is less than 30 minutes, but the entire show altogether is like, what, eight hours long? There is a massive fucking difference here, you dipshits. And now we're gonna move on to the jealousy involved with the views he got. <laughs> Do I even need to say it? It really shouldn't be a surprise because it's been happening for like seven years. It is way more common to just go on YouTube, find your favorite YouTuber, and watch a 30 minute video. It's also cons considerably faster to do that. You seem to forget as well that if you're strapped for time, are you gonna watch a 30 minutes recreation or spend eight hours watching the whole show? It's a lot faster. Let's also not forget that before the video was even uploaded, he already had many millions of subscribers. So all those people just boom, went right to the video. Whereas when Squid Games came out, we didn't know who the director was. We had to hear about the show from friends and family. Now, yes, you can share a YouTube video to your friends and family, but the subscribers who are already there are, are in addition to people sending it around to friends and family. So, of course, the video can blow up way fucking faster. We've for, like, forgotten the logic of how viewership works on different services. Like, what the fuck? And if that's not enough for you, everything that you see online gets more views than what you might see on TV or a streaming service. It's kind of like how, you know, controversial news YouTubers get more views than the actual news. It's just how things are. And your jealousy is pathetic. It's so petty. Mr. Beast got 103 million views in four days. It took seven weeks to make. The actual show got 111 million in 30 days, and it took 10 years to make. Okay, so now we're even gonna we're even gonna complain about how long it took. Yes, yes, sir. It does take longer to create an original idea than it does to pay tribute to an idea that already fucking exists. That's like saying, can you believe it? That video game took eight years to make, but the remaster, which is getting more money, took only three months to make. Those fucking people profiting off of a remaster or a remake. 
that took less time to make. Yeah, because when you remake something or remaster something or pay tribute to something, your foundation is already there. And the foundation, unfortunately, does take the longest amount of time. I know, you don't like logic, but that's how it works. The tweet trended on Twitter. Of course it did, because it's stupid. Claim that plagiarism is way faster than original writing. Well, that is true, but you're putting it down in such a bad way. His goal was not just to plagiarize it, it was to pay tribute to a show that not only he liked, but so did many other fucking people. And again, it's not like he copied the story of Squid Game and the characters of Squid Game, the dialogue of Squid Game, or, or the economy of Korea. He just wanted to recreate the games to have some fun and give away money, and that's the point you're ignoring. And yes, I understand why you're ignoring it, because it's right and, you, and you're fucked up in the head, but still, you're ignoring it. And yeah, this is true too. Another user correctly noted that Mr. Beast also credited the original uh, director and creator in his video, which is true. Same user further added that critics should rather lambast Netflix, which inherited more money from Squid Game than the original creator. Yeah, that's another thing too, kind of ironic, right? I mean, <laughs> Netflix, the service that actually streamed the show, got more money than the creator did, but you're gonna criticize Mr. Beast because he's a YouTuber and he's an easier target and Netflix has you by the balls? Maybe that's why? Okay, just wanted to make sure we cleared that up. And this is true too, but then again, how dare I enjoy a video that a philanthropist made, right? Yeah, exactly. Because he's so evil and genuinely m meant to hurt people, even though millions of people were pestering him for it. Which is true, by the way. Like, let's look at Mr. Beast's goal. He didn't come on going, ah, <laughs> Squid Games is popular, I should make it. No, he literally posted a TikTok video saying, if this video gets 10 million likes, I'll recreate Squid Games. And it got way past 10 million likes. The fans fucking wanted it. In a now deleted tweet, of course it is, Sarah Cooper further criticized by saying, oh, can't wait for this. So the promise of the creator economy is that you can spend 10 years of your life making something so that someone else can quickly parody it and get more views so that then someone else can claim the parody was more successful and took less work. Cool. Although that is what happened, that's not why he did it, you stupid fuck. Nobody is saying, Mr. Beast included, that haha, I beat you. He just wanted to fucking help people, you petty piece of shit. And by the way, survival shows like this, this is not the first of its kind. Okay, it isn't. There's been many in the past. And even a more like recent one I can name is fucking Hunger Games. So should we now criticize the director of Squid Games because he copied Hunger Games and other shows like it? No, because every idea in the world has been done to some extent. The director of Squid Games put his own spin on the concept of a survival show. That's all he did. But the, the core of the idea has already been done. Educate yourself. At this time, there is much debate around whether Mr. Beast did violate the Squid Game copyright, which I don't think he did, and many specialist lawyers believe that Netflix may have sufficient legal grounds to sue. How? That's nothing but petty. There's, there's literally no reason to sue other than the fact that you're petty and jealous, because if his video got half the views that Squid Games got, you wouldn't say a damn thing about it. You're just jealous that a YouTuber beat you. And on top of that, I don't think his video is at all close enough to be grounds for suing because all he did was copy the games. And <clears throat> there's a very important point you seem, to be, you seem to be forgetting about the games themselves. <clears throat> the games already existed. The only thing he even could copyright is things like characters, dialogue, and the story. None of that was copied. Literally none of it. All he copied were the games, and the games already existed. Sorry, buddy, but you cannot copyright marbles. You cannot copyright tug of war. You stupid piece of shit. Like, what the fuck? You can't. 
they've been around forever. Like fucking hide and seek. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Copyright hide and seek now? I know it didn't appear on the show, but it's the same type of thing. And yeah, I fully agree that this will actually attract backlash from the public. People like me, because we're, we're tired of your stupid fucking bullshit. I know for a fact that you only want to sue him because of jealousy, and you can't tell me that it's anything else. There's no copyright infringement here, because the only things that would be copyright, such as the story, were not fucking copied. All he did was take already existing games that existed before the show, keep in mind, and copied the way that the games are formed. You know, with the guys in the costumes and the masks and, oh, you're out, you're eliminated. Like, fuck off. You can't copyright shit like that. Whatever.